Today, I would like to introduce a custom camera press that I made. This press that can be used with the custom camera mod. The name is Artifield Custom Camera Preset Pack. This preset provides a total of 5 presets. Now, I will introduce each preset. Then let's get started. First, it's preset 1. This preset is designed to play Fallout 4 from a basic shoulder view perspective. This preset is set so that the character is visible from the waist up. So I set it so that you can see as many actors as possible besides the character. If you are not particularly interested in depreciating the character, and just want to shoot a gun in the third person, this preset is the best. This is preset 2, which I will introduce this time. In this preset, the character's entire body is set in the center of the screen. Through this preset, it will be convenient for you to check the whole character. In particular, if you want to know how you look when wearing a specific outfit, try this preset. Since you can see the entire character, you can see the details of the character wearing the outfit. In addition to that, there are quite often situations where you need to place a character in the center in many ways. So you will likely use Preset 2 a lot. This is Preset 3, which I will introduce this time. This preset is located on the left side of the screen to some extent. But I set it so that you can see the whole body of the character as much as possible. This preset is a mix of presets 1 and 2. And I made the character more centered than press 1. This will make it easier to target enemies the closer your character is to them. In addition, the character was also set up to show the full appearance. When I live, I usually use this preset to play. It's probably the most appropriate preset for you to play and use once you get used to it. This is preset 4, which I will introduce this time. This preset has almost the same settings as preset 3. However, the food value is much lower than number 3. Therefore, the game screen, including the character, will be more enlarged. In fact, I think this setting makes the game more immersive. But this preset has a food value of 55. It's not an appropriate value for people to adapt to. This preset might give you motion sickness. However, if you like this preset without motion sickness, you can use it as much as you like. This is preset 5, which I will introduce this time. This preset has completely different settings from the presets introduced so far. This preset only has the KMR folk used on your character's face. Why did I make this preset? The reason is to make it convenient for you to mold your character. In fact, unlike Skyrim, Fallout 4 does not change the camera perspective, even if you activate the molding window through the console. So, it would have been very inconvenient to mold the character from the shoulder viewpoint of view. But if you use this preset, you will be able to mold your character much more conveniently. In addition to character molding, sometimes there will be times when you check your character's face in detail. In that case, I am sure that this preset can help you a lot. This time, I will tell you how to install and use this preset. First, download the compressed file from the link. Next, unzip the downloaded compressed file into the overwrite folder for mode organizer users. And unzip it into the data folder for Vortex and other users. Once you do this, the preset installation is complete. Now let's go into Fallout 4 and go to MCM. Go to Custom Cameras and Profiles. You can assign a hockey for each profile. Then go to Features. Then click Swap Shutter and set the hockey you want. Now with this setup, you can switch the camera left and right when you press the Swap key. Not only that, but you can conveniently load camera presets by pressing the hockey for each preset, so that's it. I will finish all the presentation videos about Artifield Custom Camera Preset Pack. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Subscribe and like notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.